<laughs> yeah. Could could we start off with you guys telling us about your characters in this universe and like uh, what you can tell us without spoiling everything? <laughs> With Stephen King, obviously there's a horror and yeah. Castle Rock is very tense and very stressful. What kind of things did you use to kind of channel that fear or channel that stress to get it on the screen? So, have you guys seen any of it? Oh, you have. Well, we've what seen season one, one, not two. Oh, we've not seen any no, 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 not at all. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we don't, we don't know you guys at all. No. Yeah, no, you're you're both new to us. So. So we've, I'm seeing yeah. Misery. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, one would yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so um, very precise. So, there's a lot of stress and tension. And I think just the preparation as an actor, really, the script is just like, where is this person from? Where they've been from? Where they're at? And I think just this being such wonderful, diverse characters that you can kind of go, when well, you've gone yeah. through that, and you've always been sick, what does that do to you? So, it's so that's how so almost like a almost like the the character's PTSD from having the trauma before and stress before. And how does that life shape experiences, it? You yeah. know what I mean? Maybe they stopped drinking coffee, and that they were a little bit irritable that morning. You know what I mean? Or maybe she has uh, X amount of patients that day, and someone hasn't got insurance, so she has to try and help someone in a way that she doesn't know how. So those things, just those human things that build a character, they can really. Uh, really important to look at as an actor, and then you get hopefully the someone that you get to meet a little bit mm -hmm. Can you speak on how you're wound into the story more? Like, um, by the end of season one, you get like completely destroyed. Every every preconceived notion you have about the show is wrecked by the uh, the alternate dimension and whatnot. So, uh, what can you say about your character's place in all of this? Like. How steeped are you in the horror? Is it more an intellectual position? Is it, uh... Well, you know, when the proverbial hits the fan in Stephen King's world, I think everyone kind of gets involved. So yeah. We're all very involved, and we're all trying to um, find a solution to these things that we're witnessing and experiencing. But there's also, there's, there's so much going on in the series. There's so many different narratives. Yeah, yeah. And then the individual journeys, so there's like a plethora of narratives that we can kind of they interweave into the main thing that happens. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we're all kind of part of it. Yeah, I feel there's a lot of interconnection. Are you guys interconnected with anything already ongoing? Um, so that you anything, any of the storylines already ongoing? Are you already a part of that and we're just oh, yeah, oh, finding yeah. out what yours is to that? Yeah. Yeah. So, we're, we're the adopted children. Yeah, yeah. So, Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just basically get thrown into the deep end of the pool. And then we have to work shit out. Yeah. A lot of the characters having established histories through books or other projects or movies, and yours being 
fairly new to the Stephen King universe. Did you get a lot more chance to explore that and build what you thought it should be? Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, we were um, just a lot. Whatever we can to change or make better in our situation, it always helps. We really excited. Yeah, really like making your own. Not all, of course. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's interesting because I think there's pros and cons to it too. Because if they work how it's just penned by Stephen King himself, then you kind of have this framework that you can build upon. Sure. But then it's also quite freeing to go, we can create these characters based on what we know in their background and their history and where they're at right now. So that's also a good thing. So this both has its benefits and its kind of cons as well. Do you think it's easier or harder to work in a, a TV time frame where there's a longer time to tell a story with a, a horror narrative? Like, is it, is it easier to bring yourself into that headspace for a movie that's more condensed, or is it easier when you've got more time to explore that? The good thing about a movie is it's a short period of time you can let it go and not hurt Yeah, yeah. Whereas if it's a TV series that's constantly, you're constantly having to provide the energy for these narratives that are quite intense, like you can really imagine it to be. And then um, it can take a lot from you, but that's the job, that's the work. So yeah. It's also really privileged to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. During the filming process, did you guys. <laughs> so, during the filming process, what did you do to kind of help? After doing the same, maybe doing a really intense scene and knowing you kind of had to keep going with that over the course of a week or so, what did you do to kind of come off of that when when yell cut and you got to take the, the rest of the night off? It's work. It's and then you go home. What, was the, uh, what drew you to the project when you first read the script? Like, what kind of brought you wanting to be part of this project? Well, I watched Castle Rock season one, and I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. And <laughs> Sometimes it's just that simple. I liked it as well. I liked it. I was excited to, you know, give me a chance. And, you know, back between episode one, and it was good. It was good. So that, that excited me. And this technically my first TV show. So that was exciting. I wanted to. So I dive in. Yeah. <laughs> um, Somali, you know, and that's my background. And, and the Somali was really great to kind of have a female Somali who's not there, like, and he's that to him just brilliant in the wind, you know. She's got, she's got a job, she's got a baby, she's an American, she's a doctor, you know. So just to see someone that has these mixed identities, and she's just trying to be, like, that's a good one. So I particularly really like her. I was like, the Somali woman is the most you know? It's just a woman. It's a woman, so I like that. Yeah, there's a connection already for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just, um, you know how it is in the script. Sometimes they can be very too deep. Mm -hmm. They just don't work for situations, you know, like the... But, uh, this was, yeah, this was a good person to kind of join the project and the culture and the reality of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.